Oh, good morning. Um, we're here at Oswald Street Boys Club in Shropshire. Um, we've got seven pitches to mark out in total. Three senior pitches uh, to my right behind us. But on the field here, uh, we've got three smaller pitches, uh, some 7v7s and some 11, under 11, under 12 pitch. So we've got three pitches to mark on the field. Uh, I've got the customary coffee. Uh, I've got the customary broken tape measure, uh, which is going to start at one foot because uh, it's broken in the end. Uh, some string lines and some pegs or stanks as we call them and a spray can. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a quick measure across the field and work out how I'm going to put the three pitches in. Okay, so we're governed by the hedge rows and the tree lines that are around here and the fence lines. So I'm going to start, take my first point about four or five yards away from the, the hedge. Um, and this will be the first touch line. And this is where we're going to work from. Yeah. All right, so one of the most important things is getting a nice tight straight line. So I always put a half inch in, half hitch in um, onto the peg. So I basically just make a loop, put it through the peg and that holds it all in position. Then I make sure the tight line is nice and tight, roughly square to the hedge. And make sure that it's nice and tight in the ground properly so it's not going to ping out when you string the line through. So now we've ascertained where our touch line, our first touch line is going to be. Um, I've got two pitches to put in that are under nine, under tens, which is a 7v7, which uh, on the FA website shows a pitch a size of 60 yards by 40 yards. So that's what we're going to do now is measure the 60 yards down so we can ascertain where our start and end is. So, Okay, so the first thing we do is we just guesstimate where we're going to put the first line. So I'll just stick it in here and I'm going to walk down to measure 60 yards out. Which is uh, 180 feet. There's a three feet in a yard. Except my tape measure starts at one foot, so I've actually got to make it 181 feet. So I'll get the tape measure nice and straight down the line. I'm just going to put a quick mark at 180 feet, 181 feet on this tape measure. And then that, I've got my length of pitch there. So we know where we're going to. So I'll just put a stank in there. That shows us that's the corner of the pitch. And we're done at this end for the moment. So uh, to get everything square, uh, we use a, a Greek mathematician called Pythagoras' theory, something that he came up with quite a few hundred years ago, uh, which is um, A squared plus B squared equals C squared will provide a 90 degree angle or right angle as we know it. Um, that's simplified these days. It's also known as a three, four, five triangle. So I know I'm old school and I'm working in feet and yards, um, but on a hundred meter tape, you can't do a 30 meter, 40 meter, 50 meter, because that would end up being 120 meters, which is tape's not big enough for. So I tend to work in yards and do it, or feet and do it in 30 feet, 40 feet and 50 feet. So you've got a total triangle uh, area of 120 feet. So the first mark we're gonna put in, or the first measurement we're gonna do is straight down the string line that we've already got. We've already worked out what the length is gonna be. So I've got my start point and I've got my end point. So from the start point now, I'm going to measure 30 feet down the string line. I'm at 30 feet now from the start point. So now I'm going to make sure that my peg is right on the crux of that 30 on the tape measure. I'm going to follow it right down and I'm going to place it right straight on the line like that. Make sure that's nice and tight in the ground. So 30, 40, 50. The 50 is the longest angle, which is the one that goes diagonally across now. So I'll add that to the 30. So I've got to find 80 foot on the tape measure and put my next mark in. Now I can't actually put this in yet until I've got my fixed points at the start point, which would be at 120 feet. So I need the cameraman's help now to hold the 120 foot so I can ascertain where this is going to go. Right, so um, in a minute, I'm going to get Lee, the cameraman, to uh, hold this on this point. And this point here wants to be right on the string line on 120 
right next to the stank. And once I've got that there, then I'll move the other one in the middle around so that both sides are tight and we've got our three, four, five triangle. So very similarly, I'm now holding this, the peg right on the, the tape on, on the 80 foot mark. And I've now got to get both sides nice and tight, Lee holding it on 120. And I put that in vertically like that, nice and tight. And that now gives us a three, four, five triangle. So our three, four, five's in now. So what I'm going to do is walk down that way with the string line to give me my goal line for this pitch, but also for the next pitch. And I need to line up between this stank and that stank there, which was the corner of our triangle and make sure that that's all in line. And then we know we're pretty much right. What I'm going to need is Lee again with my help. So when I'm down over there, he's going to give me hand directions on which way to move the string line. So it just touches the bottom of the stank there. So we then, then know it's all parallel. Once we're there, make sure it's nice and tight. Get the stank well in the ground so it's not going to pop out. And then that should give us our first right angle for the two pitches. Our first um, width then on a 60 by 40 is 40 yards, which uh, times three feet is 120 feet. So I find 120 feet on the tape measure. 121 on my broken one. Make sure the tape measure is nice and straight. And I put my mark in. So, so that's now my second corner. Now we're, now we're going to repeat the three, four, five on the other side of the goal line uh, and take our 60 yard line, touch line down this side. line in on this second three four five so I'm just going to walk the tape down to measure out 60 yards or 180 feet so I can find the bottom corner so we're at 180 feet or 181 on my tape measure and we'll just make sure the tape measure is nice and straight and we put our peg in there and then I'll get the spray can and just put a little blob in so I know where we're at now all being well, we've done two, three, four, fives that are reasonably accurate. So I'm now going to string my bottom goal line across and then we'll measure it and see if that's 40 yards string to string. <coughs> so we just measure this measurement now. And all being well, we'll be there or thereabouts on 40 yards, which will be 120 foot or 121 foot on my tape measure, which is not bad at all, is it? So we've now put in our rectangle, which is the basis of a football pitch or a rugby pitch, even athletics tracks. So most marking out start with a rectangle. And this is a very simple way of doing it. We've done it in about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. 